Hi everyone. So this class is designed for beginners or anyone who would like to refresh their practice. So we're going to be learning right alignment of the poses. So we're going to be keeping the poses for some time so you can have a feel of the pose. So you can feel how your body is in the pose. So I would like you all to concentrate on your breathing during your practice. So try not to pant or try not to keep that shallow breathing. Try to breathe all the way to your belly and out of your belly, bring the belly button in and up and exhale. Let's try it together. So inhale deeply into your belly. And then exhale, bring the belly button in and up, full exhale. And again, inhale deeply into your belly. And then exhale, bring the belly button in and up, full exhale. And once more, inhale. And a nice long exhale. So we're going to start in a child pose. So bring your feet to the back of your mat. Bring your knees as wide as your mat. Your big toes touching. Bring your sit bones over your heels. Stretch your arms in front of you and release your head down. So it's called child pose or balasana. So I want you to remember this pose and come back to this pose every time you feel tired or you feel like you're out of breath. So it's a very good pose to come back to your own body and return to your nice deep inhales and your long exhales. So when you inhale, on your exhale, try to relax, releasing your belly down between your thighs, relaxing your upper back, relaxing your head and your brain, relaxing between your eyebrows. On your next inhale, come on all fours. It's called a tabletop. So your wrists should be under your shoulders and your knees under your hips and your knees is hip width apart. Tuck your toes under and bring your sit bones over your heels. Look at your hands, spread your fingers nicely. Press those fingers and all the knuckles into the floor. Press into the earth like you're pushing it away and start pressing yourself into an inverted V shape. So it's called down facing dog, Adha Mukha Svanasana. So pu push into the earth more with your hands, drop your head between your upper arms, keep your knees bent and keep your heels off the floor for start. Press into the earth more, bring your belly button close to your thighs belly to the spine and your sit bones lifting higher. So let's pedal our feet. So one heel down, one up. Very gently with your own breath. Don't be in a rush. It's a very slow, mindful breathing. So all your movements should be nice and gentle and slow, as slow as your breath. And stop. Look between your hands. Walk your feet all the way to the front. Keep your knees bent. Keep your feet parallel. Drop your head down. Bring your hands onto the floor. If you can't reach the floor, you can use books or blocks under your hands. On your next inhale, pushing down as your feet start unraveling into standing. It's called mountain pose. So bring your feet parallel. If you can, bring them together. Lift your toes up, flare them up, and release them onto the floor. Lift your inner arches up, lift your kneecaps up. Slightly spiral your inner thighs backwards. Bring your belly to the spine. Drop your tailbone down, grow tall spine. So bring your chest to the back so you are nice and flat. You're not arching your uh, spine. So stand nice and tall. Concentrate on one spot, which we call drishti spot in yoga. So it could be just the tip of your nose. Now bring both hands up and look at your thumbs. Slide back, bend here. Bring your hands together. Draw that prayer down to your chest. Micro bending your knees and pivoting from your hips with nice straight spine. You're coming all the way down into that forward fold. Drop your head. Knees bend. Keep them bent for start. Drop your hand, head, release your upper back. Now step your right foot followed by the left into a plank. So in plank, push into the earth with both hands. 
make your shoulders very broad, tuck your tummy, try not to sag down, so a nice long spine here, and imagine there is a wall behind you, so press your heels to that imaginary wall so your legs are engaged. Don't drop your head, look on front of your mat. Now gently bring your knees down, untuck your toes, elongate your spine more, keeping those elbows close to your body, start coming down, half chaturanga, all the way down. Now place your forearms onto the floor, so your elbows roughly under your shoulders. Put all your toenails onto the floor. And now with this nice long spine, start lifting your head, your chest up into a sphinx. So in sphinx, press into the earth with your lower arms and push your chest forward. Try not to look up, look down on the tip of your nose. Relax your buttocks, relax your lower back. Stay here and breathe, breathe in deeply into your belly and out of your belly. On your exhale, gently release all the way down onto the floor. Put your hands on level of your shoulders, keep those shoulders away from your ears, tuck your toes under, push your sit bones over your heels. Again, check your hands, spread those fingers, press them into the earth, bring your sit bones higher into your down facing dog. And again, bend your knees, press into the earth, bring your belly closer to the thighs. Keep your not spine long, try to unbend your knees and maybe drop your heels down as far as you can. Inhale, lift yourself on tips of your toes. Exhale, bring the heels down. And again, inhale up and exhale down. And once more, inhale on tips of your toes. And exhale, press those heels down as far as you can without losing that inverted V shape. Look between your hands and gently walk your feet all the way to the front. Drop your head, knees bent or maybe slightly unbent. So it's a forward fold. Tendency here to put weight onto your heels. So slightly walk yourself onto the front of your feet, so on both of your feet. So your seat bones are pointing up rather than to the back. Drop your head. See how far you can unbend your knees here. Now micro bending your knees, start unraveling bone by bone into mountain pose, Pradasana. So again, feet parallel, put them slightly together, drop the tail down, press the front of the body to the back, grow very long spine. Bring your hands up, look up, slide back, bend here, hands together, draw the prayer to your chest. And again, micro bending your knees, pivoting from your hips, we're coming all the way down, forward fold. Now place your hands onto your shins, elongate your spine, look up, halfway lift. Hands back onto the floor, drop your head, knees bend or unbend, forward fold. Step your left foot, followed by the right into a plank and again push into the earth, make your uh, shoulders broad, belly button to the spine, heels to imaginary wall behind you and you're looking at the front of your mat. Bring your knees to the floor, untuck your toes, belly button to the spine, we're coming all the way down, brushing on body with your elbows. When you're all the way down, put your hands on level of your shoulders, keep the shoulders away from your ears. Elbows still close to your body. Inhale, lifting your face and your chest of the floor into cobra. So again, press down with your hands and back. Like you're trying to push the earth behind you, your chest coming forward. You're looking down at the tip of your nose. And exhale all the way down. Tuck your toes under. Push your seat bones over your heels. And press yourself into down facing dog. Again, if your hamstrings are not open, then maybe keep your knees slightly bent and keep your heels off the floor. If you want to try full variation, then dropping your heels onto the floor, but keeping that nice inverted V shape uh, pose. So make sure you point your sit bones high into the sky. Keep breathing here. Concentrating on your long inhales and even long exhales. 
On your next inhale, look between your hands. Walk your feet all the way to the front into your forward fold. So knees bend on bend, hands on books, blocks, or on your mat, drop your head down. On your inhale, put your hands onto your shins, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, all the way down, forward fold. Now micro bend in your knees, we're coming all the way up into standing. Tadasana. In Tadasana, so you're standing with feet parallel, bend your knees like you're sitting in a chair. Look down, you should see your own toes under your knees. So if you can't see your toes, then push your sit bones slightly backwards. Try not to overarch your lower back, so make sure you've got nice long spine here. Bring your hands either in front of you or all the way up. Chair pose. Stay here. Release those shoulders. Relax your upper back. Breathe in deeply. Long inhale. And a very long exhale here. Inhale all the way to standing. So we're going to be learning standing poses today. We're going to start with our body one or the Rabbitrasana one. So step to the front of your mat. Put your feet as wide as your hips. Put your hands onto your hips and step your right foot to the back of the mat. Check your right big toe pointing to the right upper corner of your mat. If you feel very unsteady here, then push your front foot to the longer edge of your mat. Put your hands onto your hips and square your hips, rotate them so there's two little bones here pointing to the front of your mat, like the headlights of your car. Now look at your front foot and start bending your knee over your second toe so it goes outwards. And just stop when your knee is over your ankle. So you're not overshooting and your knee is not falling inwards, so it's going outwards. And again, drop your tail, bring your belly to the spine, raise your arms up, drop your shoulders down, slide your shoulder blades down the spine. And here you may just gaze gently at the horizon. Standing nice and tall, pressing both feet equally into the earth. Keeping the belly to the spine, but breathing deeply into your belly. And out of your belly, you should feel your belly button traveling in and up to your solar plexus with your exhales. Bring your hands down onto your hips and step to the front of your mat. Shake your legs. We're going to be doing exactly the same on the other side. So standing in front of your mat, your feet are parallel, hands on your hips, and step your left foot to the back of your mat as far as it's comfortable for you. And again, check your left big toe pointing to the left upper corner of your mat. Your heel is on the floor. And again, if you're unsteady, you make your front, put your front foot to the long edge so you're standing on the wide tracks rather than on a rope. And again, find these two little bones here and square your hips to the front of your mat. So your two little bones point into the front. And now look at your front foot, start bending that knee. Your right knee goes over your second toe. You may check from the side, your knee is over your ankle. Push down with your both feet, sit up your inner thighs, bend to the spine, drop your tail. And now bring your both arms up. Drop your shoulders, slide your shoulder blades down the spine, and then maybe gazing gently at the horizon. Concentrating on your breathing, pushing down with your both feet equally into the mat, so you're not losing that energy down to the earth. You're actually receiving the energy through your feet. Inhaling deeply here. Full exhale. On your next inhale, put your hands onto your thighs and step to the front of your mat. Give your legs a shake. So it was Virabhadrasana 1 or Warrior 1. We're going to be moving to Warrior 2. So standing in front of your mat sideways, I'm going to be mirroring you. So it's going to be your right foot 
onto the short edge of your mat and then step your left foot as far as you can so it's again as comfortable as it is for you now look at your right foot and rotate your right toes so they're pointing to the front of your mat just check your um, heel front heel is on the same line as the arch of your back foot put your hands onto your hips and square your hips this time to the longer edge of your mat in front of you. Now look at your front foot and start bending your right knee over your second toe. And again, make sure you're not overshooting so your knee is directly over your ankle. Push down as both feet. Zip up your inner thigh so you're not ha sagging in, you're not hanging on those hip joints. You are all supported by a muscle. Belly button to the spine, drop your tail down. And now spread your arms like two wings. Make them really strong, like two people are stretching you on both sides. Just look at your left arm. Make sure your arm is on the same level as, as your shoulder, not down, not up. Same um, height as your shoulder. And now turn your head to your right and soft gaze over your right hand. Warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So a tendency here to lean forward to make sure your rib cage is over your hips. So like in mountain pose, like in Tadasana. Stand nice and strong here. Now place your left hand onto your thigh, flip your right hand open. And we're going to reverse warrior so your left hand is sliding down your right hand comes up make sure you're not unbending the front knee so it's easy to go into this bend and bend in the front knee inhale come back into warrior two on your next inhale bend in your right elbow put your forearm onto the thigh start bringing your uh, left hand pointing to the ceiling. Make sure your chest is not looking onto the floor. So rotate your body, open up across your chest. It's a side angle variation. So your belly and your chest is looking to the right, left hand side of your mat. Keep breathing here, keep, keep pushing into the earth with both feet. On your next inhale, Come back into warrior two. Bring your hands onto your thighs. Rotate your toes and walk your heels, toes, heels, toes together. Give them a shake. So we're coming to the other side of our mat. So this time it's your left foot to the other side of your mat. Nice big step with your right foot. So again, as wide as is comfortable for you. Now rotating your left toes to the back of your mat. Make sure your heel is on the same line as the arch, back arch of your foot. So rotate your hips so they're square to the long edge of your mat in front of you. Look at your front foot and start bending that left knee over your second toe till your knee is over your ankle. Again, make sure you're not overshooting. Press down with your both feet equally. Zip up your inner thighs. Belly button to the spine, drop your tail, grow a long spine, so you like somebody pulling you here on, from the crown of your head. Spread your arms, look to your back arm, make sure your arm is on the same level as your shoulder, and a soft gaze over your left hand. Warrior two on another side. Spread your arms, make them strong. Push down with both feet, but keep your gaze soft. And keep breathing. Inhaling deeply into your belly and exhaling all the way out of your belly. On your next inhale, bending your left elbow, put your forearm onto your thigh and bring your right hand all the way to the skies. And again, start rotating your belly, your chest to the longer edge of your mat. So it's like your belly is pointing to the corner between the ceiling and the wall. Keep breathing here, keep pushing down with your both feet. Nice deep inhale here. Long exhale. 
On your next inhale, push down with both feet. We're coming back into warrior two, so gaze over your left hand. Now put your right hand onto your right thigh, flip your left hand open to the skies, and start reversing your warrior, slide the right hand down, left come, hand comes up, make sure you're not unbending the front knee. Keep breathing into your left lung. Nice deep inhale here. Long exhale. On your next inhale, we're coming back into warrior two. Bring your hands to your hips, rotate your toes, and walk your feet together. Heels, toes, heels, toes. Give them a shake. So standing in front of your mat in your Tadasana pose. Inner arch is lifted, kneecaps lifted, belly button to the spine, drop the tail, elongate your spine. Bring your hands up, look up, small back bend. Hands together, bring that hands to the prayer. Micro bend your knees and pivoting from your hips. We're coming into forward fold. Again, hands could be on blocks of books, knees bend or unbend, and weight on balls of your feet. Now bending your knees, put your right foot forward by the left into a plank. Drop your knees onto the floor, untuck your toes, keep that belly to the spine, keep your spine long, we're coming down, half chaturanga. Hands on the level of your shoulders, elbow close to your body, inhale into cobra. Press into the air, small with your hands. And push the earth backwards so your chest coming forward. Exhale all the way down. Tuck your toes under. Press your sit bones over your heels. Spread your fingers. Pressing into the earth. Start coming into down facing dog. So heels could be off the floor or on the floor. But concentrate on elongation of your spine. Bring the belly button to the spine. Sit bones higher into the sky. Look between your hands, walk your feet all the way to the front, and they're going to be coming down. So start coming down, your sit bones coming behind your heels, and we're coming on to the seated pose. So sitting on the floor, put your feet together, and flex your feet. Remove some flesh from your buttocks, so you're sitting directly on your sit bones. Put your hands on both sides of your body, elongate your spine, look at your toes. It's called Dandasana, or Staff Pose. So try not to lean backwards. Imagine you've got a wall behind you, so it's a 90 degree angle. You can't lean, you can't decline. And release. Now, bending your both knees, your feet, uh, your heels are on the floor, and toes pointing up. Again, sit on both sit bones. Let's bring your chest away from your hips. So making very long belly here. Just remembering the distance between your shoulders. So shoulders nicely widely open. So you, your chest is open. So keeping that open chest and long belly, press the belly towards your thighs. See so if you can find your feet. If you can't find your feet, you may need to use a belt just to hook the belt on the balls of your feet. And again, elongate your belly, open up across your chest, keep your upper back long. So tendency here to around upper back, and it's not good. It's called forward, seated forward fold, the Paschimottanasana. So it's a stretch for the back of your body. So you may stay here and just enjoy the stretch of your back. Or if you've got more open hamstrings, start pushing your heels forward without losing contact, belly thighs, and without going into this rounded back. So the back is nice and straight, and the distance between your shoulders is exactly the same as in the beginning. So whenever you are, keep your spine long. Keep looking at the tip of your nose, bowing your head. Keep breathing, nice deep inhale here, long exhale, again inhaling deeply here, long exhale. 
On your next inhale, come all the way to seated. It's going to turn around. So sit in as your both legs long in front of you, bending your right knee. Bring that foot across, so it's over your left leg. Make sure you flex your left foot. Sit nice and tall. Put your left hand behind, or right hand, sorry, this is your right. Right hand behind you, not too far from your sit bones. I'm going to turn around so you can actually see a little bit better. So not too far from your sit bones, sit nice and tall. Bring your left arm up, inhale, and then exhale, hug your knee close to your chest and come into a twist. So again, inhale, push both sit bones down, grow it tall from the crown of your head. On exhale, see if you can look over your right shoulder. Inhaling deeply, long exhale here. Again, keep your spine long. On your next inhale, come back to neutral. Release your legs. Give them a shake. And then bend in your left knee. Put your left foot across your right leg. So your right foot is flexed. Sit nice and tall. So find that nice long spine. And then placing your left hand behind you, not too far from your sit bones. Inhale and raise your right hand up. On exhale, hugging that knee close to your chest, coming into a twist to your left hand side. Again, inhale, push the bones down, grow a tall spine. On exhale, you can go deeper into your twist, maybe looking over your left shoulder. Nice deep inhale here. Long exhale. On your next inhale, coming back to the middle line. Release your legs, give them a shake. And now sitting on front of your mat, with your knees bent, put your hands in front of your belly button to the spine. Now you can round your back and start coming down bone by bone, all the way onto the floor. Release your feet, put them as wide as your mat. Let those feet just play. Put your hands onto the floor, palms facing up. Remove those arms away from your body so your body can breathe. And start slowly closing your eyes. We come into our last pose. Relaxation or Shavasana pose. So it's the most important and probably the most difficult pose because it's very difficult to control your mind and to relax it completely. Your mind will be throwing some thoughts into your head. Just try to observe those thoughts and let them go. Paying attention to your breathing and to your body. So start relaxing your breathing, losing the control of it. It's a normal, natural, rhythmic breathing. Relax between your eyebrows. Make your eyes very heavy, resting inside your eye sockets. Slightly part your lips to release that tension of your lower jaw. And put your tongue behind your lower teeth to feel that softness of your heart palate. Relax your brain, let it be, let it rest on the back of your skull. Relax your shoulders, your chest. Relax your belly, the front of your thighs, your shins, relax your feet and the soles of your feet. Relax your calves, your hamstrings, relax your glutes and your lower back. Relax your upper back, your upper arms, relax your lower arms, your hands and palms of your hands and enjoy your shavasana, your relaxation pose. Stay here as long as you need to. I'm gonna part with you here. Namaste.